On the fire line near Edson, Alberta, crews are working day and night. This right now is the, uh, the biggest, largest threat in Alberta, and they have thrown, in the last uh, few days, have thrown every resource at these fires. There's just too much at stake here. The Pembina wildfire complex is more than three times the size the city of Edmonton, with a finger of the fire a little more than a kilometer from the town of more than 8,000. <laughs> Residents several days into their second evacuation of the spring. I really want to go back home. I don't want to stay here anymore longer. It's been bad. It's a very different year. We've come into the summer season at a, quite a deficit with precipitation um, and even a normal precipitation year for summer and in particular June won't be enough to make up for the deficit that we're in. Environment and Climate Change Canada expects less rain than normal this June, not more. Over the fire zone in the coming days, precipitation will come in patches. Some areas will get a lot, others none at all. <laughs> For the crews fighting the fires near BC's Tumbler Ridge, the weather has been helpful. As a result, we do have structure protection equipment being demobilized as of this morning in anticipation of um, hopefully those evacuation orders and alerts can be reassessed. But on Vancouver Island, less promising news. Last week, the Cameron Bluffs fire east of Port Alberni forced a critical highway on the island closed. Officials say it will remain that way for another week or more. Western Canada's worst fire season to date, with several long months to go. Heather Urex West, Global News.